Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Or welcome, if you're new here. Uh, this time it is a family adjacent to the Not So Berry Legacy, which is the video I recently put out. And I believe it's someone's family related by marriage. So these guys had a bit of a I was gonna say they had a bit of a bigger budget, but they actually didn't. I think I cheated them some more money. <laughs> uh, I must have, because I'm remembering what I built, and it was a lot more than 20,000 simoleons can get to. So yeah, I think this is a multi-generational family. We have, like, grandma and kid and... So I think it's three generations. Um, we have a toddler and I believe a teen as well. Um, yeah, so what I was doing was basically just uh, filling up the world of Newcrest. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of Sims videos on building up Newcrest and, you know, I think uh, it, it needs to be done going into a world where it's like wow, I'm the only house in this neighborhood I mean, in real life that would be pretty pretty spectacular maybe a bit eerie, but pretty great so, yeah, I built up like this, the entire not so very uh, challenge family that I did I basically at the mall in Newcrest. I didn't record the Not So Berry uh, challenge because I find that uh, I'm obviously doing the Disney Princess challenge, but I thought this would be just more, more for me. <laughs> um, because, yeah, yeah, just more for me. <laughs> uh, but the building, because, you know, I. Th I don't know if everyone feels this way, but when I have a goal or, you know, a theme in mind, it's easier to build. I'm sure most people go in and are like, oh, it's going to be for a young couple and, you know, that's a goal that makes sense. <laughs> Whereas usually I'm like, oh, build a house, you know, okay. <laughs> Which is probably why I'm not the greatest. Now, looking at this, <laughs> the way I did the roof when I was editing the video, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> the roof just, honestly, I caught out a huge portion but the roof to me just still looks pretty terrible <laughs> uh, yeah um this part i like the, the little sheltered area of the front porch is really nice and then i just didn't know what to do with this back part now i would i would have this completely different <laughs> Because the front part looks fine, but because it's got that extra bit on the back, it looks just strange. But I give the front a bit more shape here, um, by giving it an extra little, I don't even know what that's called. I'm a great builder, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> and we're using these nice windows from Seasons, I really like these ones. Uh, I think for a while, after I got Seasons, I basically used them in every build, but I think they're just so versatile. Like here, they look like they fit the vibe of the house, which will be, I believe, brick. <laughs> and yeah, so it fits the vibe of the house, and then you can use it in a modern build and use, um, you know, have it white and it looks nice, or black, it looks nice. So, I just, I like these, uh, these windows a lot. I 
So I like the Tudor style of buildings, so which is this sort of, um, I'm not sure what you would call that upstairs part, but yes, Tudor style building. Uh, so I gave that to the upstairs portion to give the front a little bit of more, to make it look a little bit more interesting. You can see the bricks that I did on the front uh, porch area and you can see that they're sideways. Don't worry, I come back in and fix that. Also, I really like the front door. Uh, it's from the Country Living. I believe that's what it's called. Cottage Living. Country Living. I forgot. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's from that back anyway and it's very, very cute. And so I'm just decorating with landscaping and yes, yeah, so I do the, the hedge uh, along the side. And now we're going to do the inside. I go for archways for the majority of the downstairs area apart from the bathroom and then I believe the hallway into the living area. Uh, sorry, the whole way into the dining area, although I might give that a small archway. I just like the open plan living of The Sims 4, I believe. It's quite, quite common. Um, it's not entirely open plan, obviously, with arches, but, you know, um, because uh, The Sims is also canonically, canonically American, um, I believe archways are more common there. <laughs> They're not very common here because we Brits have to hold on to our heat with both hands with all doors closed <laughs> at like all times. Also, so that your parents don't ask you if you're born in a barn. <laughs> Let me know if you've heard that one. So I've done some uh, dark wood flooring for this house. I uh, just thought, you know, brick exterior. So dark wood flooring. I also do brick on the interior, uh, just because I think it's something that I haven't done before and I thought was really nice. Um, just got regular floor tile for the bathrooms. Uh, here I am getting the brick for all the walls and I think it just looks really nice with that dark wood flooring and uh, maybe not all the but here I am uh, removing the <laughs> clipped hedges. They were clipping inside. And yeah, just getting to work on the entryway. I'm getting some nice decor, the sorts of things you would expect to find in an entryway. Uh, a bench for when those slow coach kiddos are taking seven years to put on their shoes. Uh, mirror, so you can check how you look on your way out the door if you're as frazzled as you feel. And said shoes for... Although, I'm just thinking actually, there's like no kid shoes here. I wouldn't class any of these as kid shoes, so that's... That would be kind of a nice thing to have. I would think. Now moving on to the living area. We have, yeah, kind of my theme is brick, dark wood, and blue. Just, just randomly blue. I'm not entirely sure why, but I believe it goes. <laughs> Even though it may not look like it right now, I do believe that it does go. Uh, again, ugly rug to tie it together. Um, I believe the rug was not, not the best, but a rug tends to tie a room together. I'm also getting this 
in my last video, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy a small TV and size it up with a angle bracket key. But this time I actually got them a reasonable size TV. And thankfully I realized it was off kilter, and so I changed it. <laughs> I also really like that floor lamp. I'm not a floor lamp person myself, I don't have floor space for one. <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the rug that I'm not a huge fan of and don't exactly know why I used it. Um, but I did. Hmm, did you see the same name for a bookcase there? I've not, I don't usually look at the names of furniture items, but if you go into any sort of Sims lore areas of YouTube, there's, there's like a whole story to be told through, there's someone, there's a queen or something, uh, queen somebody, and there's basically a story, an entire story told through all of this furniture. It's a bit crazy, I'm sure, maybe if you search in the search bar, which I'm totally going to do the next time I play The Sims if I remember. That's the important part to note, if I remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a whole story told through it, and yeah, that bookcase was called Mortimer's something. Anyway, I'm just doing the downstairs bathroom. We have a build done before there were slots on the sink, <laughs> hence the wiggling of the soap there, and the change of the uh, change of the sink. So I'm just filling up the kitchen. I made quite a big kitchen. I'm not a uh, not usually build very big kitchens, but with a big five prison family, I thought, why not? So we've got a nice kitchen island, the best bin in the game, although people say it's ugly, but it gives me like, uh, the, like, servo vibes. <laughs> servo is the robot that you can create in The Sims. So it gives me servo vibes, so I'm like, eh, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Plus you get Ten simoleons for each thing that you drop into the bin. Ten simoleons per sim. So the five person household, everything that you drag into that bin would give you 50 simoleons, which would be awesome. So I'm just trying to find a little plant life for my kitchen. And I've got some, I've got a fruit bowl, I've got the kitchen utensils. So I'm now doing the dining room. I thought it'd be nice to have a formal dining room for this family. Um, I do have a kitchen island, um, which has really strange handle placement I, I noticed right now. Oops. <laughs> I've obviously turned something incorrectly. Uh, I do have a kitchen island, but no bar stools for it, but I thought that they would mostly either eat at the table, um, which I feel would be encouraged by the grandparents. And yeah, I made this lovely back wall uh, for the dining room, which I thought was cute. But I think, yes, either grandma or the parents to try and, you know, encourage good manners would be like, no, we're eating in the dining room. Uh, so, I believe we start by furnishing the bathrooms. Uh, we have two regular bathrooms, and I think I pretty much copy paste everything. And we have the ensuite of the adult couple who live here. Uh, yep, just basically a copy paste job here. <laughs> Make sure you get that toilet. Um, and if you are not a simmer and you're wondering how I'm free placing on the wall rather than just clicking, as you can see with the towel, real it has like boxes that sort of, you know, automatically goes into, whereas the toilet roll, I'm free moving it around. Um, I'm not describing that well. 
you just uh, hold the Alt key um, on a PC while you place an object or move it around. So this bathroom got changed many times, but I wanted it to be a bathroom where the parents could sort of come in, have peace and quiet from the kids and from the the grandma. Um, so I give them a nice, nice bath, a toilet hiding behind a sink, and a couple of plants, and then quite a lot of clutter underneath. Um, I think this was not too long after I got Snowy Escape, so I was like, wow, look at these shelves that you can totally put things on. So, yeah, rather than spending the cheated money on anything useful, I'm like, ooh, clutter. I'm sure that's what most uh, most people who build to build rather than build to play I feel like they're like ooh clutter. <laughs> yeah, so we're now moving on to the I kind of build the toddler room and the teen room in tandem. You can see I've put the the beds in both rooms and the nightlight in both rooms because oh my Whenever you have a toddler or kid that sleeps in a room without a nightlight, it's just so frustrating. Even sometimes I put the nightlight and I put it like close above their bed and they still get the nightmares and I'm like, but how? How can you possibly have a nightmare when you have your nightlight on? Uh, so I don't know if that's maybe the light setting I've done something wrong with or I don't know what's happened there, but yeah, that does often happen, and it is very annoying. So, now that I'm seeing the way I'm decorating this room, I'm like, is this a kid's room or a teen room? Because... I've got quite a you know, a rug that I would use for a child, as well as the night plate, so, and the toy, so I'm like... But I do believe it is a teen. <laughs> I think that we saw downstairs there was a teen and a toddler, so... Oh well. He gets a, a cute little, um, maybe it's leftover from his, his child years and he's still Because, you know, you don't ever have to grow up. You can have as many toys as you want when you're older. <laughs> oh, and I can't forget the umbrella stand, which I only recently learned. You can click on the umbrella stand to change the umbrella that your sim will use. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I had no idea until I think I saw two different creators say it pretty recently and I was like, was this the way it was the whole time? <laughs> also, I don't know what happened, but I seem to have missed a bit of video where I built or I decorated the adult bedrooms. So I kind of got a glimpse there of the master, and <laughs> I'm still faffing with this bathroom. But yeah, the master just has like a little desk to work from home, the cute bed, some like family pictures. Uh, couple of windows now. <laughs> um, a dresser. And then here's the grandma's bedroom. Well, you can half see the grandma's bedroom and half see the kids at uh, the toddler's room. Um, but yeah, grandma got a nice little desk as well. A dresser, double bed, and some end tables. Just standard fare for a bedroom, really. A couple books as well. <laughs> Just caught those there. Um, got some cute little nursery photo frames for the toddler and I also put some posters in the kids, uh, the teen tweens <laughs> the tween boys bedroom I'm gonna go tween because I don't remember and just trying to find some nice artwork for granny's bedroom um yeah, because I got some nice artwork for everyone else's bedroom there's even a bit of artwork downstairs that I didn't know was before. Yeah, I decided that the outside was empty, so 
I blew up all of these uh, <laughs> edges all the way around. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. And I want to give I give the tween and the toddler a swing set in the back garden. Uh, despite the fact that they may not actually be able to fit in there or <laughs> get across because, you know, no, uh, <laughs> they'd have to climb across a hedge <laughs> which was an oversight by me, but there you go um, and yeah, there's a couple of garden planter pots uh, it's funny, even though I did the things in the back garden and then immediately followed it with putting a fencer in the outside I did not think, how are they going to get through into the back garden? I'm sure they'll just walk through anyway. Yeah, and I really like, I did this in another build recently. I put the, that hedge arch as the air quotes gate, and I really liked it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.